McAllister here in Mansfield. It's just uh, right next to Academy, and I've came across this place like many times, but uh, never really uh, give it a try. So today we're gonna give this a try, and it looks good. Pretty nice, good looking meal. It's a deli, so um, not much to expect, you know. But it seems like the food is fresh. Okay, just gonna destroy this. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I meant to upload this video on the weekend, but then I have some uh, unfortunate event going on. Well, um, my pistol fell on my favorite toe, so I didn't feel like doing a video. And I'm still limping today. But anyway, I did go to um, Sport Academy and shoot point blank today. And so far, no luck today. All, all Academy had is 12 gauge. Uh, shotgun stuff a couple of six millimeter uh, that's about it but uh, yeah couldn't find any handgun ammo no 22 disappointed but uh, what do you expect you know cuz I came there at around 3 p.m. or so so yeah it was late I don't feel like uh, getting in line for hours and hours just to get two bucks now because they have lowered the limit a while ago there's no way uh, Two boxes gonna work uh, my time, so um, yeah, just go on the uh, daytime, whenever you get off work or whatever. Just just go to academy. Uh, if you're lucky, you might able to find something, something that you use like uh, like I do right here. So these, I didn't wake up early for any of them. Just uh, casually walking in, shoot point blank or academy, and uh, was able to find it uh, last week. So let's go over it and how much it costs. And the price is getting ridiculous. You wouldn't believe some of the price I'm paying right now. So let's go. Uh, so last week it was raining 12 gauge. So is this week. I mean, they have plenty of uh, 12 gauge in stock. Well, it's kind of blurry. So um, I grabbed two boxes from Academy, double R box. Although I'd rather have some more slug. I have plenty of double R box. Six ninety nine, I believe, for five round. Yeah, it's over a dollar a round, but uh, what can you do? I mean, it's really hard to find double R box or get a lone slug. So yeah, six ninety nine Academy. Casually walk in. Now this is pretty expensive. Pretty good to find. Uh, six hour nine millimeter. Something going on with my camera today. Okay, fix my camera. Now everything's more clear. So this is what I look. The six hour nine millimeter. Hollow point. Beautiful. I like to stock up on these, but then yeah, it's just it's so hard to find anything good these days. I mean I can't stock up on these because as soon as people see these, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, I like to stock up on these. Because right now it's really hard to find some uh, Hornady Critical Duty. It's really hard to find those. And sick, they don't produce as much ammo as Hornady, but it's still really hard to find it anyway. So that's six out, 45 bucks from Shoe Point Blank. Uh, the price, I think it's okay, you know, less than a dollar around uh, for Hollow Point. So yeah, good stuff. Now this. I always told you guys never overpay for your ammo, but I break my rules because there's a reason. I just buy one box of this from Shoe Point Blank, $38. They raised the price dramatically, dramatically, $38 for a box of Aguila. Now there's a reason I buy this because I don't have this brand in 9mm. That's why I just want to buy a box just to have it, you know. So this is what it looked like, Aguila, 
the Mexican brand. So yeah, it's been a while since I see any uh, Aguila 9mm FMJ. So there's all the text. And it was, let's get to this. So uh, I got four boxes of Federal, also from Shoe Point Blank. To my surprise, well, it's actually cheaper than the 9mm, believe it or not. Shoe Point Blank sell 45 or cheaper than 9mm. I don't know, I, I don't know what's going on, guys. Like, it's, it's crazy right now. 9mm costs more than 45. So these, I think, it's around 37 bucks for 50 round. Yeah, uh, I'm paying a little more than I should, but uh, like I said, I don't have, I don't have at least four, five hundred round or forty-five. So I need to get at least five hundred round, and then I'll just, you know, uh, slow down on buying the uh, expensive forty-five. But give or take, it's still cheaper than nine millimeter. Just crazy, what uh, nine mil costs right now. So that's a uh, federal. Uh, I just accumulate forty-five. Uh, just recently, at the end of uh, last quarter, last year. So yeah, sucks for me. Shouldn't uh, accumulate new caliber. So yeah, that's uh, Federal. 37 bucks. I mean, crazy, but uh, yeah, that's what, that's the price you're paying for. So these, just casually walk into Academy. Mansfield Academy last week and uh, I saw three boxes on the shelf and the guy in front of me just grabbed one box and I grabbed the uh, two boxes that, that's left and it's only $26 yeah $26 for steel case I mean what are the price of this stuff during uh, 2019 anyway I don't know because uh, I don't collect 45 ACP uh, during 2019 Sucks for me. So yeah, steel case, polymer coating. Okay, that's good. It doesn't gunk up your barrel. So yeah, but careful uh, getting steel case. So you have to store these in a good climate condition. Otherwise, they'll uh, corrode because of steel. Gonna get rusted. So yeah, put in your safe or whatever. Put a couple of silica gel in it. So those are twenty six, twenty seven dollar Academy. Uh, what are the original price? I I have no idea. So I got two box of these Ammo Incorporated uh, from Shoe Point Blank. Twenty four dollar. Yeah, for twenty round hollow point. I do not have a single box of uh, forty five hollow point. So. Might as well just get two box. That's a limit. Uh, shoe point blank had for their members. So that's what it looked like. Ammo incorporated. Right now the uh, quality. I I noticed the quality of ammo has gone down. The price gone up, but the quality of ammo has gone down. You see that little ding right there? Yeah, it seemed like. Uh, same things happening with all the brand today, because you know they um, they can uh, very behind on the ammo shipment, so they just gotta hurry up and ship all the ammo, and all the quality control has gone down the sink. So yeah, ammunition quality uh, doesn't matter anymore. So hard to find. Also got me uh, three Water PDP. Magazine these are really hard to find right now because everybody and the mother just bought the water PDP So uh, they got to have a couple of magazine for it. These are 15 round magazine Yeah, uh, I got these from um, LG outdoor for like $28 per magazine How are these? in well in a way they are in stock, but they want at least 45 bucks for it 45 50 for it and even those are sold out so 
if you're able to find these and you have a water PDP, yeah, get them. Because right now, it's like everybody's buying them. Everybody's buying the uh, water PDP. So do I. Uh, just bought another, another Holosun 507K X2. So these are micro red dot. These are not mini red dot. The micro is fairly small. Do I have one here? Show you guys. I think I do. It's in here. I think it's in here. The quick. So you guys can see the size of the micro versus the mini. Here's a Lopal Delta Point Pro. So this is a mini point, mini dot, and this is a micro dot. See how much uh, smaller it is? It just sit perfectly on the gun. Yeah, smaller, but uh, that's a circle dot. Uh, Lupo Delta Point, look at that. Look how much bigger it is, because it's a mini dot, not a micro dot. So I like the micro dot. Depend, you know, depend on uh, what gun I want to put them in. Okay, so that is $310. Seems like everybody's charging it for it. No, it's actually $290, yeah, $290. Okay, now Olai Odin. I pretty much have an Odin on all my rifle. Just uh, they just give you so much for your money, and they're uh, pretty durable too. I mean, if anybody say they're not, then they're just full of it, you know. Fanboys. I know how it feels <laughs> when uh, your product is inferior but more expensive. So yeah. Cool lights. I got like four or five of these. So that's that. And of course, no AR bill is without some buffer tube. Not buffer tube, rifle buffer. So these are arrow position. I got myself a um, H1 buffer and a carbine buffer. So the carbine buffer, I believe, is like 3 ounce. And the H1 buffer is like 4 ounce. So what these d does in your AR is that uh, it'll slow down the cy cycling rate. So if your AR is over gas and um, your shell is ejecting 1 or 2, o two o'clock, then you might want to slow down your AR with a, a heavier buffer. This is H1 buffer, 4 ounce. Uh, you can go to H2, a little, a little bit more heavier, and they also have H3. I don't know why you would use H3, but you know H1 or H2 is good enough. But you also depend on season. You don't want to use like H2 buffer on a cold season because uh, during cold season, your gas is reduced. So yeah, keep in mind using a different type of buffer tube. Buffer, not buffer too. What am I saying? Uh, these, the, surprisingly, the uh, arrow position buffer H1 costs like eighteen to twenty dollar plus. The carbine is like less than fifteen bucks. And also got me an Expo Arms H1 buffer, less than fifteen bucks. So yeah, this brand costs less than arrow position. I don't know. It's just a buffer. I mean, how bad can it be? You know. Buy one and test it out. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Four ounce buffer, this one. So yeah, I uh, got these from uh, Primary Arms. These from Brown Nails. They ship pretty fast right now, uh, Brown Nails. Primary Arms are uh, kind of slow. Because they're backing up. Uh, also got me another Macpaw Daca meat on pouch. I love these pouch. I mean, the you can throw anything in it, loose pack, your tools, your spare parts. I mean, yeah, these are great, guys. Don't sleep on these. I mean, I'm going to make a video showing you guys what I do with these. But essentially, they're kind of waterproof, kind of. So, yeah, you can store all your stuff in there. These are yellow, medium size. They have a small size. They have a large size. They have one with a clear window, but I could, 
those uh, sold out pretty quickly. So that's the reason I bought yellow because you know you know how most of the gun parts are black. I mean you don't want to buy black or dark color. So these these stand out so you can put all your parts in here and stuff like that. You can see all your parts clearly as, as opposed to black. You know, so yeah, think about that when you buy like accessory. So yeah, bright yellow. It's just stood out on everything. So uh I think these are around eighteen to twenty dollar plus. Well, I got these on primary rounds. So yeah. I have a feeling this is not gonna be my last one. Also, this week I got a brand new Taurus G3. Yeah. So these uh this pistol is not haven't released for too long. I believe it's last year or so. Or 2019, I don't remember, but anyway, these are selling out like a hot cake. $300. MSRP around $250, but given the situation we're in right now, I mean, it's really difficult to just to get this at $300, yet alone at $250. I don't think anybody's going to want to sell you at a, a brand new G3 for $250. So here it is. I'm going to do a review on it. So far, I just love this. I love this thing, you know, budget gun. I'm not really into a budget gun, but man, Taurus, they always give you the bang for your buck. Pun intended. They do really give you a bang for your buck. I mean, $250 on a good day. All day long, you know. I also bought some um, night sight for it. Still waiting for it. <clears throat> man, this is beautiful. Double and single action. It's double action, single action. It's lighter. It's a little bit light. However, the trigger, the trigger travel, it's kind of long. It's the longest travel I've seen. It's kind of like a revolver, uh, revolver trigger, for say, but plastic, because you know it has double action and single action. So these are really good uh, for practicing a laser. If you have a laser bullet, you want to practice with that. These are very good. Cheap too. 250 bucks if you can find it at that price, but I doubt it. Uh, they have a uh, various color. Flat dark earth, black, stainless steel slide, if the variation. So man. So if you see this in store, just pick it up. Trust me, you'll like it. I mean, even even though you have like maybe medium to high end gun, but this is one of those guns where you know you can buy multiple and just put it all around your house just uh, just in case. Or a truck gun, you know, if you l lose it, it doesn't really hurt you that much. So yeah, good gun, not the best uh, paint job, but yeah. So uh, that has been my week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more video. I'm going to do more review and hopefully we find some more ammo because yeah, to do a gun review, it, it's going to cost a lot of money to do that because yeah, we're going to shoot a lot of ammo, at least a minimum of like two, three hundred per range trip. So uh, you think all this ammo that I got that a lot, I mean, like I said, you know, I I shoot like at least two, three hundred round of handgun ammo every time I go to the range. So um, yeah, just to do a review for you guys. Like, subscribe, check out my merch store down below in this description. Uh, hope you guys like it. I'll see you next week or maybe this week. I don't know. Peace out.